field. And Tommy was uh, preparing that. I called him earlier today and I said, uh, what are you doing? He said, I'm chasing the chickens around the back. <laughs> True. My name is Jim Bond, I'm a member of the uh, scholarship committee with the Northwest Vets. And we have with us tonight uh, various members of our organization. Dave, Jimmy, Tom, Joe, Jimmy, Mike, and George. Uh, we're, we're among the guys that uh, have been working on this thing since 1991. Also with us this evening is our primary benefactor. Uh, Ed Riley is uh, now retired, but his Yay! Between Ed's company and Ed's personal donations, uh, they uh, accounted for a lion's share of the funds, which we'll tell you about in another minute or so. Uh, this program began in 1991. Uh, a friend of ours, uh, Al Hall, was uh, in, in security at St. Joe's. He was the next Philadelphia police detective retired from the police department, went to work in security at St. Joe's. He called us one day and said, how about if we fly a POW MIA flag on the campus of St. Joe's? So everybody thought that was a great idea. Dave Morris's dad had gone to St. Joe's back in the 30s. So a bunch of us went up to St. Joe's, we procured the flag, and there was a dedication in honor of, uh, of Mr. Morris. And that flag to this day still flies on the campus of St. Joe's. And we all stopped at Murphy's on Henry Avenue. <laughs> because going to these ceremonies makes you very thirsty. <laughs> very thirsty. So while we were there, you know, we were thinking, well, you know, what's the next thing that we can do here? And Gary Tinney, who was really the driving force for this program, came up with the idea of having a scholarship program where we would raise some funds and see if the school would, would match it. So uh, through, through Al Hall, we got in touch with the, uh, the chief financial officer at St. Joe's and made that, that proposal to him, and he agreed. So in 1991, we had our first scholarship. It was only with St. Joe's at the time. And any funds we raised, St. Joe's matched. Until about four years ago, and the, the number of students from the 21st Ward going to St. Joe's had dwindled. So in order to, to keep the program going, we approached Temple and LaSalle, and they both agreed to participate and match the funds. Now, the scholarships are awarded in memory of the 24 guys from the 21st Ward who were killed in action in Vietnam. So this, uh, this year, we're awarding the last scholarship for one of those 24, and we're awarding an additional scholarship, which we'll tell you about in a moment. We've had 56 total students from this area participate in our scholarship program. 26 of them won scholarships. Those scholarships are for uh, $5,000 per year, half of which is raised by us and half managed by the schools. We awarded 29 grants to students over the years. We've had 36 students graduate as a part of the program. And we have nine, including this evening's award winners, who will be presently attending this academic year, which starts next week. And one student at St. Joe's, two at LaSalle, and six at Temple. Is going to be, uh, her scholarship is going to be in memory of Lance Corporal Samuel A. Singer. And Joe McManus will tell you a little bit about Lance Corporal Singer. Uh, you kind of pull this together. April 30th, remember the date. It's not because uh, on April 30th, 1789, George Washington was inaugurated as first president of the United States. It's not because on April 30th, 1975, it marked the official end of U.S. involvement in Vietnam. It's not because Willie Mays in four home months on April 30th both in 1961 and 1972. Now I ask you to remember April 30th, 1967 and April 30th, 1968. Because both of our honorees, Lance Corporal Frank T. Roy and Lance Corporal Samuel E. Singer, will then be honored here today. 
were killed in action on April 30th, a year before. It's only a coincidence that our latest two honorees share that date with each other. However, as I read you a short bio on each, it becomes evident that they share more than the date of April 30th. Uh, the scholarship being awarded to Alyssa is to honor the memory of ser and service and sacrifice of Roxburgh's Lance Corporal Samuel A. Center, USMC. Sammy, as he was known to family and friends, was born October 22, 1936, and grew up in Manioc. He had five brothers and two sisters, and the family struggled to stay together with the loss of their father. For a time, Sammy also lived with his grandmother and brother, Alan, in East Falls. The loss of his father allowed Sammy to attend Girard College, where he graduated high school in 1965. He enjoyed playing competitive soccer and wrestling with his school team. <coughs> After high school at Girard College, Sammy began training as an apprentice printer and was married before entering the Marine Corps in March of 1967. During his tour in Vietnam, which began October 17, 1967, 21-year-old Lance Corporal was a radio man assigned to Company L, 3rd Battalion, 9th Marines, 3rd Marine Division. His tour of duty included the rock pile, Pontian, and a number of assignments and missions near the 17th parallel DMC. Lance Corporal Singer was killed in action by small arms fire on a patrol near Camlo, Quang Chu Province, Republic of South Vietnam, on April 30th. 1968. At that time, Lance Corporal Samuel Singer was survived by his wife, his mother, grandmother, five brothers, and two sisters. This plaque reads Northwest Veterans Association Scholarship awarded to Alyssa M. Sainers in memory of Lance Corporal Samuel A. Singer, August 2013. Yeah. the uh, fundraising efforts and we had a, a friend Joe and Eddie and myself grew up in southwest Philly with a fellow named Frank Ruff. We talked to the other members of the committee since we had the additional funds and we could do a scholarship uh, if it would be appropriate to, to have the scholarship in memory of Frank and all the guys on the committee unanimously agreed that, uh, you know, that we would do that. So, Annie, if you'd come up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Joe's now going to give you some information about Frank. Okay. Like Jimmy said, a second scholarship award is being presented to Annie Persico will complete her bachelor's degree at Temple University. The scholarship being awarded to Annie is to honor the memory, service, and sacrifice of the principal, Frank T. Roy, USMC. Like Jimmy said, unlike the other 24 honorable members who honored under this program, Frank was not from the 21st Ward. He actually grew up in Southwest Philly uh, with Jim Mullen, Eddie, and myself. Frank shares the common thread as a Vietnam Honorable Member with the 24 members from this community. So honored under this uh, scholarship program. Jim, Eddie, and I appreciate the inclusion of Frank in this program and thank the committee for their thoughtful addition. As I mentioned, memories of Frank are very special to Eddie, Jim, and I as we spent so much time together with Frank first grade through high school. Whether it was playing ball, double dating, or just cheering for Frank as an exceptional tight end on our high school football team, we often speak of Frank when recalling events during that age of innocence, when bonds of friendship are forged and stupid was fun. And I can assure you, we did some dumb things. <laughs> To close, Frank graduated from West Catholic High School in 65, where he played varsity football and attended community college in Philadelphia for three months, before enlisting in the Marine Corps in March 1966. 
with three other close friends of ours. He was a rifleman assigned to Company M of the 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, 3rd Marine Division. He died near Quezon on an assault of Hill 881 South, Quang Tree Province, on April 30th, 1967. He was one of six Philadelphians to die in Vietnam on that day. The most of any day in the world for a Philadelphia. We actually remember Sammy and Frank, not as an addition to these scholarships, but as the heroes they were in making the ultimate sacrifice for all of us. Hopefully your warm thoughts on them can be triggered on April 30th for these two moments. Joining us this evening is Vice Corporal Ross brother Steve. So Steve, you want to <laughs> Northwest Veterans Association Scholarship awarded to Anne Marie Persico in memory of Lance Corporal Frank T. Ruff, August 2014. Yay.